Hello to you, my faithful 990 subscribers. We're almost at 1K world domination. Today, we're going to be doing another tier list because I actually like making these because I like knowing people's opinions and like what they think about what I'm ranking. Today, we are ranking BTS albums. Yes, every single BTS album from repackaged to first album. We're not doing singles, so Black Swan is not gonna be in this video. So, as you can see, I have all of the albums on the right side of my screen it's, for me it's on the right and we're just gonna be putting them in this tier list it goes from F being the worst to S being obviously number one the best you know nothing can top it we're gonna start off with BTS's first album which is too cool for school we are going based off like song composition and um just like how good the songs on the album are not really going based off like you know how good the vocals were or whatever just how good the song was i'm gonna look at uh apple music so i can look through all the songs that are on the album so here we have bts's too cool for school the songs on the album there are seven songs on the album too cool for school the intro we are bulletproof part two circle room talk no more dream interlude like and circle room cypher this is BTS's first album, like first ever album, you know, very cringy, but we're also not going off concepts, you know, like they were just starting out, so I'm not gonna go too hard on them. I feel like We Are Bulletproof is like a really good song, like it's timeless, I feel like, because I still like the dance and I still like the song. I feel like that would bump it up a rank if I were to put it in a low rank. And then there's No More Dream, which is an okay song. Like, it's not my favorite song ever, but it's okay. Like is a really good song. Probably one of my favorite songs. I like Like Part 2. So, I mean, I guess we're gonna put it in... I'm gonna put it in D tier because I feel like that's just where it goes. Like, it's not a rank below because that would be too harsh. The next album we have is Oh Are You Late 2. It's not my favorite album. Like, it's definitely one of my least, the one that I really don't, you know, fuck with too much. And O is okay. They have We On. We On is a Mm, we on is a bop period we on this album has a lot of good songs it has it has intro or are you late to no we on are you happy now if i rule the world coffee cypher one tack on bangtang satori rap and love in school so even though i don't really like this album too much there's some songs on here that i like literally still fuck with like if i rule the world fucking slaps like this song is so good i swear satori rap is good i like hobie's part cypher one is now my favorite cypher like it's definitely one of the lowest ranking ones for me coffee i don't really like coffee too much i don't really fuck with ballads that much love and school the outro is freaking amazing it's so good the intro and the outro vibe so well like it's so good i don't know where i want to put it like it's not it's not like the worst it doesn't deserve anything above c i think the thing that saves this album from being like low ranking is definitely if i rule the world because i love that song so much so maybe i'm a little biased i might put it in c rank but i feel like that's being really really generous i'm gonna put it in d and then we'll see if i change my mind next album is school love affair now this is their second mini album this one is okay we're gonna see what songs are on here intro school love affair boy in love skit soul where are you from? Just one day. Tomorrow. Cypher 2. Triptych. Spinebreaker. Jump and Propose. Now, this album has a lot of good songs on it. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. It has a lot of good songs on it. Boy in Love, obviously a classic. Where are you from is okay. I feel like a lot of BTS B-sides back then were okay, but they weren't like, oh man, like, I'm gonna go listen to that right now. Just one day is one of my favorite songs. I'm not really into ballads that much, but this one... You know what I mean? Tomorrow is a is a good song. I know Yoongi wrote that one. It's so amazing. Cypher 2 is one of my favorite cyphers. I think it's like... Yeah, I actually think Cypher 2 is like number 2 on my list of like cyphers as it goes. Spinebreaker is a very fun song. I like it. Jump is okay. And Propose is one of my favorite outros. So like Jin's vocals on Propose, y'all don't even know. So I'm gonna put it in... I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm gonna put it in B tier. Like, it's actually that good. I don't know, maybe like you guys probably won't agree with that, but like, I personally think 
it belongs in me because the songs just slap like they did their thing next album is school love affair it's a special edition pretty much they just added the slow jam remix of light they added miss right that's it they just added miss right and the slow jam remix of light miss right is not my favorite song but it's okay it's pretty much the same album but i feel like adding in miss right kind of bumps it down i'm not really a big fan of miss right um so she's going in c tier that's just where it goes the next album the most superior album period is dark and wild this album got me into bts like a couple months after it came out is when i discovered bts the song that got me into them was actually let me know which i know i said i don't fuck with ballads but shit man that song is so fucking good dark and wild it's just such a good album like all the songs on there just vibe like look at my apple music everything every single song on this album is added like the excellence the flavor of this album period first of all they have what am i to you danger war of hormone hip-hop file let me know rain cypher 3 interlude what are you doing now could you turn off your cell phone embarrassed 24 7 heaven look here second grade and do you think it makes sense? 14 songs consecutively sound good like how do you do that how you do that one explain let me see how you did it let me see first of all the outro is like one of my favorite outros in the entire world i remember girl baby come back to my world i can't even explain to y'all how much i love it like war of hormone there was some controversy surrounding that song but it still slaps like i still like it cypher 3 is my favorite cypher because i just really love namjoon's part people like uh yoongi's rap in this one but i feel like namjoon doesn't get enough credit in this one the interlude slaps could you turn off your cell phone like some of these b-sides no one really knows about and that kind of irks me a little bit because i'm just like these are some of the best b-sides that bts has and no one acknowledges them it's going in s tier because that's just where it goes like anyone who thinks dark and wild is below s tier is like well enough it goes in s tier the next album we have is the most beautiful moment in life part one this one has some of my favorite songs ever in the world so <laughs> I might be a bit biased towards this one. First, the songs on the album are The Most Beautiful Moment in Life, the intro, I Need You, Hold Me Tight, Skit, Expectation, Dope, Boys With Fun, Converse High, Moving On, and Love Is Not Over, outro. Hold Me Tight is one of my- f I know I keep saying this about like every single song, but this one is one of my favorite ballads. Like, the vocals in that song are so powerful, like, I don't know. I really like it. I Need You, of course, got them their first ever win, so this is like a big album for them, I guess. Converse High is so freaking good. Dope is okay like it's not my favorite title track that bts has but a lot of people seem to like it for some reason i really don't know why like it's okay love is not over is a really good song but i like the full length one i think what really is the kicker for me is hold me tight i'm gonna put it in b tier i was gonna put it in a tier but i just feel like like it's not there next is the most beautiful moment in life part two this one is probably my favorite out of the two just because of run like run is my favorite bts song ever like if you know me you know run is my favorite song so it has intro never mind run butterfly Wayland 52 my city silver spoon one night in a strange city autumn leaves and house of cards which yo this album is something else like period run have you guys seen music video to run like that shit is so nostalgic it'll make you want to have friends like i don't know my city is a fucking bop period silver spoon y'all already know it's good look let me tell y'all something about autumn leaves autumn leaves is like the brother to hold me tight and i really love that this one definitely is going in a tier because house of cards is just that bitch and i didn't put it up there because of house of cards so run silver spoon my city will 52 all them songs just a tier you know this album is a tier period next we have wings which is i don't want to say it's their best album like it's okay i think it's a little bit over glorified so this album has a lot of songs that i like like the solos like this is where they implemented solos and some of my favorite solos are on this so we have boy meets evil Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Begin, Lie, Stigma, First Love, Perfection, Mama, Awake, Lost, Cypher 4, Am I Wrong, 21st Century Girl, 2, 3, and Wings, Interlude. You know, when you put it like that, it kind of sounds kind of hard. Probably some of my favorite solo songs are like Begin and Stigma, just because I like R&B. So like, Stigma just has that, mm, that vibe, like, and then Begin just has kind of like, you make me begin. 
Like, it just, I don't know, something about that song just make you want to get up and bust a motherfucking move. And then Cypher 4 is everyone's favorite Cypher. I don't know why. Maybe it's because Yoongi's part. I, I really like Yoongi's part in this Cypher, but I really like Hobie's part too. The fact that they added in Am I Wrong 21st Century Girl don't really fit with the vibe of Wings. I don't know why they added those two songs in there. They could have added them in some other album. What was the reason? I would say S tier because of the solos. Like it could have been fine with the solos, Cypher 4 and 2, 3 and Wings interlude, but they had to add in the mother songs. Like Lost is a good song too. But you know, if you gotta think about if it belongs in there, it really don't belong in there. So, <laughs> so next is You Never Walk Alone. This is basically Wings, but with Not Today and Spring Day, which and Outro Wings, which is long and has Hobie and JK harmonizing which fucking slaps like you need to hear these two songs no you need to hear outro wings at a concert when they harmonize live like in real time that shit did I just fucking take an edible because bitch I'm out of here not today is not my favorite title track like it's, it's definitely not my favorite I love spring day spring day is a really really good song not one of my favorites but it's really good so I mean I see why she's been on the chart for three years I just feel like it's not S tier it's a B tier it's a B tier and that's just where it goes because really where else can you put it like the next album is the first album in the love herself series love yourself hurt this is the first album i ever bought it has really good songs on it i bought it because i fell in love with it if it was that time if it was 2017 you know the first time i heard it when it came out i would probably put it in s tier because i loved it that much uh it has serendipity dna best of me dimple pied piper the billboard speech mic drop go go and outro her these songs fucking slap serendipity is so it's such a good song dna let me tell y'all something. When DNA first came out, I was streaming the book out of that shit. Like, those 600, 700 million views are me. But I was streaming the fuck out of DNA. Like, I loved that song so much. Best of Me, I recently fell in love with. Pied Piper is one of my favorite fucking songs, period. Pied Piper is so good. And Outro Her. Outro Her is one of my favorite fucking outros. If I were to rank outros, my first favorite would be Do You Think It Makes Sense? Then the second one would just be Outro Her because Hobie's verse. Like, have you heard his fucking verse? Like, that was one of the first times where I really noticed, like, I kinda am in love. You know what? Fuck it. It's S tier. It's S tier, period. Like, it's not in the same rank as Wings, you know what I mean? Like, it's definitely a step up. DNA, even though for me right now, like, I loved it back then, but I feel like it's a bit, like, overplayed now. But like, it still is good. Like, this album is so fucking timeless. It's so good. Next, we have Love Yourself Tear, which is a fucking good ass album, period. All the songs on this fucking album, man. This album has one of the best B-sides. Some of the best B-sides, not one. All the fucking B-sides on this album slip. So first we have Singularity, Fake Love, The Truth Untold, 134340, Paradise, Love Maze, Magic Shop, Airplane Part 2, Anpan Man, So What, and Tear. Fake Love is not my favorite title track. It's, it's good, but it's not like my favorite. Like if it comes on, I won't skip it. I'll just be like, oh, okay, Fake Love. Bye, bitch. The B-sides. I'm literally tearing up just thinking about it because like, 134340 is such a slept on fucking song. BTS even fucking sleeps on it. And they need to fucking stop. Like why did why did they perform it for the muster but not the concert? Like if you were to ask me what my favorite B-side is, my top ranking B-side would be 134340. Cause I just fucking love that song. Period. Paradise is also one of my favorite B-sides. Love Maze is really good. Magic Shop, I like it. So what? I wasn't in love with it at first but i've learned to love it it's a good song and then tear y'all know how i feel about tear no i don't think y'all know how i feel about tear because the first time i heard it i thought it really went off and i was like oh they're kind of onto something like this is really good and then when i heard it in concert that's when it really processed in my brain and was like hold up this shit is fucking slaps so we're just gonna put it in s tier because I mean, fucking the B-sides, man. I mean, like, I, I tweeted this before and I was like, Anpanman and So What don't really belong on Love Yourself tier 
because they just they don't really fit the vibe but the more i listen to it the more it starts making sense the next album is love yourself answer this one is a repackage it just has a bunch of songs from like other love yourself eras it has euphoria trivia just dance serendipity full length edition dna dimple trivia love her singularity fake love truth and told seesaw tear epiphany i'm fine idol answer love myself magic shop best of me airplane part 2 go go i'm home on mic drop dna pedal to LA remix fake love rock and vibe mic drop bowling and idol featuring Nicki minaj it has euphoria it has the trivias it has epiphany but it's the remixes on the album that get me that just bump it down like i'm so tempted to put it in e tier but i can't do that like i can't do that to seesaw i can't do that to epiphany or euphoria or the other trivias like i can't do that to them so i'm gonna put it in it's really a d tier for me because of the remixes so i forgot to do the most beautiful moment in life young forever you know save me and then the two full length songs are what make me want to put it higher but then they added in all those fucking mixes and just absolutely not i'm gonna put it in e and then last but definitely not fucking least <laughs> map of the soul persona home is my favorite song ever like i know i said run was my favorite song but home is definitely like like she is my favorite song persona boy with love microcosmos make it right home jarme vu and dionysus i love it so much this is the first album that i bought all, all four versions for persona best intro now that's kind of a stretch it's one of my favorites let's just put it like that microcosmos is one of my favorite songs it makes me cry home boy let me tell you you know you got that Oh. like period and then dionysus you know it's that bitch uh she just comes in hard it's not s tier but because of home it's an a tier because like bitch where else would i fucking put it mm -hmm. this is the tier list i think it's 100 percent accurate if you uh if you disagree with this i genuinely want to know why because there's just no way that you can disagree with something like this i mean i can see you disagreeing with what i put in the e tier but everything else is just like that's just where it goes that's the end of the video let me know what you guys think peace talented brilliant incredible amazing show-stopping spectacular never the same totally unique completely not ever been done before unafraid to reference or not reference put it in a blender shit on it vomit on it eat it give birth to it